Yo guys, welcome back to another part of Greedfall. In this episode, we will be doing uh, the mission Scholars in the Expedition. And this quest is given by the Bridge Alliance Governor in New... Uh, not New Serene. Uh, Hickman. I forget what his name was. Governor... I think it starts with a B. We've done... We've talked about him so many times, I still forget his name. But... He's the guy that you'll talk to Ulan about meeting and uh, the previous video we just did, I believe. I'm getting so sidetracked with everything. Anyway, back to the back to the main part I'm talking about. So we have to find this expedition that's with the Bridge Alliance that's just trying to figure out a cure for the Malachor. And the Hikmet governor gave you a location to go check out. So that's what we're doing right now. Now, most of this mission is going to be just exploring and finding the certain things you need to find. This first area here up the wall here. We'll need to find a couple of things. Obviously, I'm just kind of looting around. There's some... This area has been high with iron ore. So definitely make sure... You're like, pay attention to the walls if you want to get resources, because there's a decent amount along the way. This must be the expedition's camp. All right, so this area is the camp for the expedition, just like the Sarde said. There's gonna be a couple of things we gotta look for. I'm just kind of in the exploration mindset right now. So the first thing we want to go check is, I believe there's a letter. No, I think the letter's next. They were attacked by the look of the tents. All right, so first you have to make uh, day sir day or day sir day. Um, do that dialogue, and then there's gonna be some things here. Here's a like scientific equipment. Okay, never mind. I thought that was the note. This must be the lost expedition's campsite. There's a note somewhere here. I think it's the last thing we find. No weapon leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they were wielding magic. Yes. It is the art of the Done Gada. One of the Valley Clans was here. Would you know which one? One who fights against the invasion of the peoples from your island. I can be sure of nothing more. Why would they attack scholars? They're not warriors. They come here as conquerors. This is enough. All right, so this is a letter over here in this broken wagon. Warriors would have been. All right, so let's go take a look at this. Uh, this globe, globular root has a dense and firm texture. The smell that emerges from it is strong and vigorous. I have observed several animals consuming it without any noticeable effect, hence it is likely to be edible. A distillation in laboratory should be more conclusive. Afra has decided to move her tent further away. She says that our constant crackling prevents her from focusing. This young woman is talented, but I understand why her master dismissed her. She has a bad temper. The species of bird is heavily represented in the valley. They have proven to be incredibly curious. They come to so close to us that we could touch them. The natives must not hunt them, otherwise they'd be more prudent. And yet their flesh is exquisite. It must be released, related to their beliefs. This, uh, this native people may consider them to be sacred. Okay, so that's the kind of things they've been observing since they've been on this expedition. Afra is the main woman we're looking for. She, this looks like I believe, the is the leader of there the expedition of that fauna. they've been doing. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the lost expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. So, after that, um, you're going to go south. There'll be some blood the there. Blood. And you pretty much just follow the trail through these two rocks. Follow it. There's going to be some nature. I was going to save here just in case something happened. But we're going to have a... Uh, a variety of beasts we're gonna fight here. We're getting into some, um, what are they called? The uh, Veilig? I'm gonna guess they're Veilig. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I thought they were Ulds for a minute, but they're not. And we're messing with some stasis traps. This guy does not want to come, but eventually he does. Also, guys, I'm just gonna let you know too, after I get caught up with the gameplay, I didn't record my audio with at the same time I'm gonna start recording the audio with the gameplay so it won't be so the audio so it won't be so cringy because I know it's not great okay so 
I'm just I'm letting the combat just play out. Just because I feel like during the combat areas, it's not a bad thing. We're getting better. I will say that. Combat has been improving. Siora and Basco are pretty much our go-tos for the group now. I haven't really messed with anyone else outside of those two. Now we're going to spend our time uh, looting from the beast. Now there is something we have to go check over here. To the left, which it's taking me a while to do. More blood. Okay, so that's just... On the right path. Keep going. That's more trail of uh, blood. Then there's going to be a body over here in in a corner. I think after we kill the, uh, the clothes can those be beasts. Mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he's been dead for days, as we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This man traded his life for all the suffering of my people. It was only a scholar... A sage, not a warrior on the battlefield. Do you think my people see a difference when bridgemen steal our people from their beds? From who do you think all the clans hide dead children? I have heard stories from the natives describing bridger atrocities. If they are true, this violent attack, though tragic, would be justified. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. Okay, now after that dialogue... Uh, we get a chest key if you search that body again. And then... We're going to want to go the opposite way. There's a little drop down. And that will be the tent that Afra has set up. So we're going down this west... Western area. Northwest area. After we pick some berries. Pick that Hawthorne. Okay, so we're going to drop down here. Camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer there. And there's something else we're going to read here. This position would have allowed them to escape the attack. And this is that where that key comes in handy that you loot from the body. All right, here's a diary of Afra. Uh, we set up a small camp in the hollow of the valley we wish to study. The flora in this place is incredibly uh, luxuriant. I probably pronounced that wrong. This island is the only place where so many different species can be found next to one another with so many varieties. We are bound to find an antidote to the Malachir. This plant with its blue aforescent... I can't fucking read, guys. I hope you guys can read better than I can. Uh, something in jagged leaves is unlikely any plant I have knowledge of. I will have to lead some experiments to determine if it contains active es essence. It is a shame that we cannot exchange with the natives. They must not... They must know the properties of all these plants, but the soldiers warned us. They told us that we shouldn't trust islanders. Apparently, they're very aggressive in this region. Our arrival in the valley did not go unnoticed. I feel as if we're being observed, most likely by the islanders. I hope that they understand that we are not here to fight, but merely to catalog the flora. The impression of being observed is becoming increasingly ominous. They're very close. I can feel it. I'm afraid we should expect an attack. We should... We, we have so few weapons, and my colleagues are barely capable of defending themselves. I am certain that we are being observed from the swamp. If they attack us, this is where they will most likely come from. I have tried to warn my companions to tell them to be more discreet, but they refuse to listen. So, pretty much just telling us that they have been noticed by the natives. They are being it's kind of watched. That of a woman from the expedition, a certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops mid-sentence. Let's hope she's still alive, as well as her colleagues, or our mission will be a short one. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will certainly lead us to our party of intrepid scientists. This woman was right to fear the Donea Exregal. They must have followed this path coming from the swamp. This is where we should go if we want to find these lion scholars. Alright, and then I believe we go... There should be a drop down in that same area. And we just continue down this path until we see like a swamp. There'll be a couple of natives standing in the middle Look, that... Those are islanders. We have to try to they spy on. From the clan that attacked the bridge camp. That's possible. Now, just they FYI, just we don't learn a lot from this interaction, but... There may be a way where you can, and we save it just because I don't know if we're going to get into a fight or whatnot. 
but there might be a different way to go about this yeah, and learn what they're saying first. but as you can see in my gameplay they engage in conversation and we don't know the dialect so we don't really understand what they're saying but there may be a different way you can go about this and learn from it Okay, see, we missed the obtained information on the island trackers. I'm, I'm sure there might be a way where you can get that checked off, but I didn't do it through this playthrough. So, if you guys uh, did get that check, get a check mark for that. Let me know in the comments. Cause I'm curious. Let me know what you did so I can maybe do it on my next playthrough. I'm not here to kill you. Tell me then, what is your intended purpose? We were sent to look for you. Apologies, but allow me to express my doubts. After this little swim, you could always try to pull the trigger. Who sent you to find me? Well, we were not looking for you in particular, but the entire expedition. It was Governor Burren who asked us to find you. Burren, that's He's what it is. He's worried about you. You haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue of a different nature. Do you have a name? Desarde. I'm from the congregation. Hmm. The new governor's cousin. Who wears an islander face. I've heard stories about you. And them? Captain Vasco. Though I realize I am quite far from the sea. I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid. From the people that your own capture and torture. I've never taken anyone. On the contrary, we had hoped to exchange our knowledge with your own. This is a rather odd group. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars' shouts, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee, but they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions without any success so far. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are oh so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs. Okay, so she's going to lead us to a campfire that we can set up shop. This is where the natives took your colleagues? Yes, it is here. These ruins are being used as a camp by the native raiders. There are so many of them. 
Better to remain discreet. I have spied on the camp and discovered where my colleagues are being held. They are being kept in the old walls of the main ruin. Okay. So after that, you can go ahead and set up this campfire. And that will... Uh, we're at 5 at 5 for the campfires in this region. I don't know if you're playing, if you will find any more campfires before this one. But in case you do, that should be the last one to find. And speaking of campfire, we're going to go back here and uh, fast forward to nighttime. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to watch this back to uh, make sure. But the village... Well, actually, first of all, you can get through this little cre crescent if you have uh, two intuition. I unfortunately don't, so we have to circle all, all the way around the back of the castle or fortress. So if you just hang around the wall and just walk all the way around, you'll find this wall and you can get inside the fortress. Um, what I was going to say is I think this is actually kind of far from the camp. I could be wrong. Because I don't remember. It's been a while since I played this part of the game. But anyway, once you get to uh, where I was earlier with that little um, crevice, if you don't have the enough intuition, just pretty much walk around the whole area on that wall and you'll get to that wall you can leap over that was just that. Now, there's not a lot of people in the fortress. I'm sneaking right now because I don't know the area. But you really don't see any any enemies until you're deeper inside the uh, camp so we're gonna fast forward a little bit here and this is the first person he's kind of far away he won't detect you there's another person in the back as well uh, go ahead and go up these stairs climb this wall and then have the stairs to your left now once we get up these next flight of stairs there'll be a person kind of watching over it there is a way that, and I don't know how we did it, but we were able to, if you're back up against as far as you can go, he starts detecting you there. If you wait for that, uh, wait for that to go down where he's not seeing you anymore. You see how he's like glancing off to the left? It's just enough where if you're all the way on this back wall, you're able to go without him seeing you. So go ahead and do that. Then you're going to sneak away, sneak around this back, back side. And then that cave to the, to my right in the game is where we're going to need to go. So I'm kind of just exploring. This isn't the back part of it. This is kind of a dead end. There's nothing back here. And this is where we want to go. Right through this big cave where I'm not looking. Here we go. I guess it's not really a cave, but this entrance. And honestly, this air, this part of the mission is actually relatively easy. We'll head down here. And this is the part where I redo my attributes. Because at this point, you need either a key Locked. or you need a I level 2 lock key. picking. So currently, I only have a level 1. So you'll see here... I'm going to save it just in case I want to go back to my original loadout or if something goes wrong. But if you go to your stats and you... F you f oh my god, I can't talk. If you have a... What's it called? There's a certain thing that you... Uh, if you have a memory crystal, you can reset your skills. So I go ahead and do that. Give myself two lock picking, and I think I give my other self a crafting ability, but... That, that allows you? us to unlock the door quickly. and have this cutscene. We don't have much time. Thank you for your help. Do not thank me yet. We are still in a shipload of danger. Also, that will uh, reset your clothes and whatnot as well. So you'll have to you'll have to recustomize for your armor and weapons, I believe. At least it did here, unless I switched clothes, but I don't think I did. And then once you set these guys free, you're just going to backtrack pretty much. I think I cut a lot of this out. However, I might not. Coming out, this guy's facing the opposite way, so it kind of works out. He only just backtrack. I find it funny when you look back and you just see like seven people crouched down walking. 
That was kind of funny to me. It's just how absurd it looks. Like, I don't, I'm sure I'll, uh, position, I'll position the camera to see it, but it's just, it's just funny to look at. And I think there's actually going to be people on this right side now. So there's still those guys on the left. When we backtrack, there will be an extra body or two that we got to pay attention to. I guess we didn't show that part, though. Okay, so we're back, back where we came into the camp. And now we're just going to go ahead and get out. There's going to be a destination that we have to go to. And there's going to be a cutscene of pretty much Afra's companions, I think, talking to us and whatnot. Actually, I lied. We have to... It, the, well, the, the point's kind of far away. So just follow the compass to the destination. You'll have to fight three natives. Bit of poison on my blade. And then Let's the... The, uh, oh my god, I can't think. The destination will be right after this, this fight, which doesn't last long. Drakarid, Mercy, you have defeated us. Spare us our lives. If you spare them, they will only hunt us down until we are all dead. No, you have our word. We have been bested. We will let you move on in peace. How can we trust you? You attacked our camp when we were not even armed. They are savages. They had us caged like beasts. We only sought to learn where you have caged our people. Spare their lives. I beg you. They were only fighting to save the lives of those that have disappeared. Yeah, we go ahead and do the native side and spare them. Which, like I said before, I'm not particular well. fans of the bridge Leave. alliance so i don't really care I about them you keep your word thank you and this actually Nawi. worked out i have spoken and i will honor my words okay so we do gain uh reputation with the natives and siora siora is now nice we are no longer in danger thank you for your help desade i must admit the reasons for my being here are not entirely selfless your research to find a remedy against the Malachor could save many lives in our cities as well. You speak like a true man of science. Cut to the point. Then you'll be thrilled. Your heroic efforts to save us from those savages could help. We've made a discovery. Is that right? In that case, we need to speak with Governor Burham immediately. Very well. I'll accompany you. <sighs> Let's be off. Sir Desade and our expedition. I thank you sincerely for having brought them back, Excellence. You are a providential man. Please, sir. It was you who convinced me and my cousin of the capital importance of their research. A research that has borne fruit, Your Excellency. Truly? This is excellent news. You have found a plant with sufficient properties? Uh, not exactly. Know that during our captivity, an island woman visited the camp. The natives called her... Tiena Hack Cadactus and treated her with utmost reverence. I heard them talk about a remedy, a universal remedy, it seemed, that she had concocted. How's that? Liamatra did nice yachtum? Huh. Well, I grasp the basic of the local tongue and I am certain to have heard the word yag. Remedy. Surprising. But the Tiena Hach is very powerful and very wise. It is possible that she did craft such a remedy. Okay, and that's going to end that mission. I, was, I just want to apologize on the commentary. I know it's been pretty bad, but like I said earlier, we're going to uh, get the commentary while playing here in the next parts later on. But until then, um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. And uh, we'll be back with some more Greedfall next time. Until the next part, take care, guys, and I'll see you soon.